machine training manual, chuck snipper, crosscut saw. The crosscut saw processes rough wood and is used to produce workpieces at specified length. It's normally a semi-automatic and pneumatic machine that has been designed to operate at up to 40 cycles per minute. Machine safety. Always keep safety guard in place and in proper working condition. Remove all keys and wrenches. Create the habit of checking that all keys and wrenches are removed from the machine and placed where they should be on the file box before starting operation. Always adjust the clamp to the right height to avoid getting fingers or hands between the workpiece and the clamp. Don't force the saw blade. Allow the motor to reach full speed before cutting. Keep the working area clean and always stack the cut pieces orderly. Put the off cuts underneath the in and out feed tables. Minimum length 300 millimeters. Put the waste or the shorter cutoffs into the dustbin. Never leave the running machine unattended. Switch off the machine and don't leave until it is stopped completely. Main components, parts. Isolate the switch. Switch, on and off, in feed table, door, machine stand, pneumatic foot pedal, pneumatic clamp, fence, saw blade cover, height adjustment of clamp. Changing the blades. Switch off and isolate the machine. Lock the machine completely. Loosen the plate and open the blade guard to take the blade out. Open the door and insert the pin into the spindle shaft to lock the saw blade in place. Hold the pin in place. Loosen the plate and open the blade guard. Loosen the nut using the wrench and remove the flange. Always clean the spacer and the flange to avoid vibration. Insert the new blade, flange and the nut. Tighten the nut using the wrench. Tighten the plate and lock the blade guard back into position. Air filter unit. Check whether there is water in the water collector. Remove the water by pressing in the push button at the bottom of the water trap. Check that the air pressure is at the right level on the air gauge. Working pressure must be set at six bars. The saw blade. The teeth of the blade must be shaped so that they can be used for cross cutting. To obtain a good clean cut, the teeth must be very sharp and the angle should be as small as possible, but not below zero. On this blade, it is 10 degrees. If the rake angle is too large, it will affect the feed speed of the work piece. With a 450 millimeter blade, a plank with a width of 340 millimeters and thickness of 102 millimeters can be cut. Adjusting the length. Length adjustment using stop. This adjustment stop allows the operator to set the length of the workpiece for mass production situations. Switch on the pneumatic air before you start the machine. Hold the piece against the fence and adjust the clamp to the right height with a screw knob about 10 millimeters higher than the piece you want to cut. Adjust the clamp by switching on the pneumatic air, putting your foot on the pneumatic pedal, and press turn the screw knob to the desired height. Yeah. Operating the crosscut saw. Height adjustment, knob. Power button on, green. Power button off, red. Pneumatic clamp, stopper. 
pneumatic foot pedal. Press the workpiece against the fence and move it against the stopper. When you switch on the pneumatic air, the clamp moves up, which allows you to position your workpiece. When you press on the foot pedal, it goes down. Switch on the power button and start the machine. Press the foot pedal and wait until the cut is made before releasing the pedal. Remove the workpiece, switch off the machine and clean the work table. To set up the machine and cut the specified length. Measure the length of the workpiece with the tape measure from the blade to the stopper. Set the stopper at the desired length of the workpiece. Start the machine. Place the workpiece against the fence with the best side facing up. Cut the workpiece to the rough length. Check the length of the cut workpiece. Clean the table and the machine. Troubleshooting.